How do I meet people? I am Kathy O'Connell at Reading Abilities, which is in Bates in New York. And I love the topic of dating and disabilities. You need to consider the regular places you already go to. They could be volunteer, church, anywhere in your community where you go to on a regular basis. Because going somewhere regularly breathes some familiarity which sparks friendships and relationships and helps you develop connections with other people. So find what activities you regularly participate in because that will increase the probability of meeting people that you will begin to get to know over time and relationships and friendships will evolve from that. With these regular places that you go to, consider taking a new look at them. Are there people already in these symbols and sensitivities that could be of potential dating interests to you? Think about it. But also think about new places that you can become involved with. Um, the key to meeting people is to have a balance between regular familiar places you go to with trying new places and then that's to meet people. New places allow you to take a risk, to get outside your comfort zone, to try new places, events, activities. You will never know what might come out of it. So I have a exercise that I would like you to do. Make two short lists. The first of it has five to ten things you're already involved with. Committees, boards, volunteer activities. Think about where you already go on a regular basis. It can even include your church. And the second list is the three new activities you want to participate in, whether they're in person or even virtual. But try three new activities because remember you want to take that risk. You want to grow and get outside of your comfort zone also when trying to meet new people. So think about new three new places or activities you can try. I would like you right now, as you're watching this, to take a few moments and write notes into the I would like to end by wishing you well in your effort to meet people. I know that you have the ability you make great connections. You just need to be thoughtful and creative sometimes about how to get out there and meet people. I would like to leave you with 
how you can connect with me if you would like to learn more about what I do in the world of dating relationships and disabilities. And I would say it's a reading abilities that comes within the website. It's a dating resource and page that has a bunch of resources about how to successfully date with a disability. I'm on breaks and book reading abilities. I also run a private Facebook group for just people with disabilities who want to date and who want to. It's not a matchmaking group, it's a group to offer support and encouragement to help you date with confidence. And also, at on Instagram at Radiant Abilities. That's the which it's to you and feel free to connect with me. Thank you.